it is no different from you saying, I'm going to keep an open mind. It's no different from you saying, you know what? I'm going to keep my energy up, right? I'm going to go and work hard, put more energy into it. It's no different from you being hopeful and being, you know, uh, so careful to put everything that you're doing into a situation that's going to allow you to benefit from it. So you're putting your energy into it. That's what we say. I'm going to put my energy into building this car. I'm going to put my energy into playing basketball. I'm going to put my energy into teaching. I'm going to put my energy into my relationship. I'm going to put my energy into, you know, fixing this fence, building this house. Whatever you deem or whatever you feel that you should put your energy into, it's the same thing. So, yeah, I wanted you guys to really understand and get into the whole concept and understanding of energy and what that is. We deal with it every single day of our lives. We are energetic beings. So it's not inconceivable to understand of a person, a being channeling energy. You open yourself up at all times, plain and simple. Whenever you focus and concentrate on something, you open yourself up. That's why TV is made to be watched, because when you watch TV, you're still. It's made for you to open yourself up and allow in the programming. And that's what's happening. You're being programmed by it. There is absolutely no defense for the power of music. Whenever you listen to music, you open yourself up and allow that music to take over and program you. This is, these are things that people just don't understand consciously, but it happens all the time. As I said before, you can learn a song without trying to actually learn a song because you heard it so many times. You opened yourself up to it. And people, when they listen to slow music or their favorite artists, they completely open themselves up to the music to where sometimes they get overwhelmed by the song, by the rhythm, and they get real emotional. They start crying. How many people cry listening to their favorite songs? A lot of you have. You heard songs that made you think of your mom, your grandma, songs that just put you in a good, cheerful mood or just made you feel that, you know, you have hope that everything's going to be okay. And that song, we call it yoking, or they call it yoking, yoked an energy. You know, it put an energy in you and made your energy uplift and feel better, greater. And you rely on that now because of the way it made you feel. So you listening to your favorite song and jumping around and dancing and all that stuff, it's, are you channeling demons? You know, you channeling demons by listening to your favorite artist that makes you want to get up and jump around and dance, right? This is what Michael Jackson talked about when he was talking about listening to a lot of these this music. So they thought he was, you know, he's channeling Savalt. He's channeling uh, Corey Bontis, not understanding what that stuff actually means or what it pertains to. Broke all that stuff down before. These are energies and beings that is known for energy. We are these same beings. We all capable of doing this and all doing the same things. We all do this daily on a daily basis. So what I want for people to come away with in this video is to want to understand there is no Satan. There is no being called Satan that is sending demonic spirits out to jump into people. If a demon was real, I would think they would have you know, better things to do with their existence than jump into a human body so it can slobber and spit and foam at the mouth and act all crazy. What would be the point of that? It doesn't make sense. One, if Satan's job is to not let you know he exists, wouldn't demons surely, you know, make people believe that he exists, right? So why would I want to do that? Why would I want to put stuff out there? Why would I want to have these music artists, right, showing that I exist, talking about me and challenging me and showing all these representations and symbols that I exist. I wouldn't want them to do that because of course you don't want people to know that I'm real because what are they going to do? They're going to run to the Bible. So what it is, is you lack the understanding of what's actually, what's actually going on. The only recourse is for you to take it back to the Bible because you think it's demons, but you don't understand what this energy is or what it actually means. This is why they're getting over on everyone because people, one, you flirt with this stuff, but you're too scared to dig in and do the research on what's actually taking place. If you believe that these intelligent men and women actually chose to choose Satan, knowing that if Satan exists, Jesus exists, they chose to choose Satan over Jesus, you're crazy. It just don't make sense and don't fit. It also don't fit that these people would choose Satan and worship Satan, but openly praise Jesus. Hmm? Don't make sense. So it's either 
these people worship both gods, which the Bible said they can't, or you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know what's going on. You don't understand what's happening, right? How can they praise Jesus one minute? Oh, thank you, Jesus. I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Meanwhile, the whole entire album goes against everything that's Christian. The whole entire album is about murder, sex, drugs, right? Don't make sense that God would bless them and they would give their blessings to Jesus for doing everything that's sinful, right? And they're supposedly working for Satan. So why would they do any of that? Why would they come on there and wear these chains and crosses and everything like that? So the answer is, it's something that's outside of your understanding that you don't understand, that you're, you know, wrongfully tracing back to this satanic energy or these demons that do not exist except for within us, plain and simple. So, you know, it's what these people are using and choosing to channel and use to gain favor. Understand? The music is evil, bad. That's what they choose to use to gain favor. But again, them understanding what Jesus is. Jesus tells you in the Bible, he is you, right? Jesus tells you in the Bible that you are gods, right? It's them understanding that whole concept of duality, wearing two chains, right? Understanding that they are God, they are Satan, and they represent both. It's all dualistic. It's all a story. It's a parable, allegorical story, talking about you and a lot more, plain and simple. You have a demonic side. You have an evil side. We're all capable of good. We're capable of evil. God kills more people in the Bible than Satan does unfairly in a lot of cases, unfairly. So you see more shows of evil from God in the Bible than you do see. Understand what's going on. So it's a lot to learn. You can continue to live in fear and ignorance for the rest of your life, or you can choose to do the research and understand what the stuff really is about and how these people are using it to control you and gain favor over you. Plain and simple. This is what we talk about on this channel. So you guys don't know. But yeah, I wanted to put this video out real quick, uh, answer the questions of some people who I had this conversation with. Uh, hopefully you guys can come away with the right understanding of it and uh, hopefully it will guide you into uh, looking deeper into this information, in which case I have more videos uh, here on YouTube. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys take advantage of American Scholar Society. I'm telling you, you will regret it if you don't. But yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.